Hey everybody, Smitty here again. So, a um, little bit of a different thing here. I wanted to, for one, I am going to go over what sold over the last day and a half um, to follow up my last one that was four days, but we've actually had a pretty good couple days and I wanted to have you guys see what we sold and also I wanted to talk about a few things so let me go through the first couple items um, that we sold which would be the first thing is uh, this Monopoly and Yahtzee vintage PC game um, I'm not sure uh, I couldn't find very many of them online so I just uh, put it at 10 bucks and let it sit there it's been sitting there a couple months and Somebody finally ordered it for, for $10 and plus shipping, $3.19, I believe, uh, in media mail shipping. And then this is another thing that, uh, this was also mine, so the Monopoly and Yahtzee that was in my collection from me hoarding computer-related things, um, so that's pure profit for that one. Same thing with this one. Uh, this is Beyond Time. It is brand new, still in the box, uh, still has the original price tag on it from when I bought it, uh, I don't know, probably 15 years ago, and uh, maybe even more than that. It is super old. It is copyright 1999, so um, probably more than 15 years ago. Um, anyway, so I bought this. I believe I bought this at uh, Office Depot. Um, I believe that's where I bought it on a, a rack. Uh, we sold this for $12 plus shipping. Uh, I'm not sure what the shipping was. I don't have it right in front of me, but uh, it was probably like four or five bucks for that one. And then we sold uh, this Blu-ray that I actually got with the $25 lot that I got, or yeah, $25 lot uh, off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, this sold for $13 plus $319 media mail shipping as well. Um, so that's the first three items. And so one of the things I'm super excited about, uh, my son actually has been dabbling with uh, Photoshop and digital image creation and modifying them and uh, he became super good at it just teaching himself and he decided to go on a website I'm not sure what it's called um, yeah I don't remember the name of it but he decided to go on there and create his own profile and publicize himself on that website and become basically a general contractor. He's 17, so he's doing this on his own, and he got his first commission for two photos, uh, two pictures to create for someone, and the commission is actually $45 for two um, digitally created photos. So that is super awesome. He is making his first money as a almost adult he's going to be a senior next year so uh, I was so proud of him that it wasn't even funny I had to call his grandparents and brag about how well he's doing and he actually has his own uh, YouTube channel as well uh, creating these he shows uh, his screen while he's creating these pictures and I'll actually um, link that in the description of this video here to his YouTube channel. So hopefully any of you that want to go check out him while he's making his uh, photos, uh, you can go subscribe to him and check that out and uh, help him out as well. Maybe he can get up to uh, start making money on YouTube as well, get monetized and, and do that as well. That would be awesome for him. So, um, also, with that said, I wanted to, lately, 
uh, I will be talking uh, to a friend. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go through a couple more things with you first, and then, then I'll tell you about this story. Um, because th this friend is just super awesome, and I want to give them a shout-out without telling you who they are, because they're very to themselves and don't want anybody to know their name. So I'll, uh, I'll talk about them in a second. So actually, I got this from the Mega Yard Sale. Um, this is that Memorex CD player with the Philips headphones and the headphone extender. I don't know why they would need that, but um, it was in good working condition. Sold this for, had it listed for 24, took an offer of 21 for it, um, which I thought was a very good deal. Oh, and from the last video, the last What Sold video, um, that's going to come out on the 14th, I was talking about this, the, uh, this, uh, Cryptek hoodie, um, it's super cool, in great condition, uh, the buyer hadn't paid yet, they paid, um, and so this is going to go out today, uh, with our items, Excuse me, my nose itched. And uh, the last thing here that I want to go over first, and then we, I'll have two more things that actually sold within the last hour um, that I'll show you. But this guy we got in that uh, auction a while back with all of the ceramics and the decanters and stuff. This was just an addition uh, to the lot that we bought. It really wasn't anything but this is a small little creamer um pourer and this is from occupied japan it it says i think it's all marked off in there you probably can't even see it but um you can see that it says japan in there um but after looking this up that's where this is from it's occupied japan uh so it's super old and that actually sold for 12 dollars plus four dollars shipping uh exactly what we were asking for it and i think that was it uh, i've got the two items so far that we've sold today um that are going to go out within the next few hours so i wanted to go ahead and do this video so that i could actually show you physically the items that we've sold um because they're actually pretty good items most of these are you know, little items, uh, the, the hoodie we sold, I think, for 24, 23 plus um, shipping. Let me look, actually, real quick. I will bring that up on the eBay site to see what, see what they paid for that. Um, 21, excuse me. We had it listed for 20 eight and we took an offer of 21 because it has been sitting for a little while um and i didn't actually have a lot to go off of for that one uh, i couldn't find any exactly like it especially the pattern i found a couple that had uh the same tag and the same um big call out on the chest but or graphic i should say but it's an embroidered graphic um as well so uh i found ones similar to it but not the same like none of them had the same actual gray pattern like this so um i don't know if you can see that pattern very well but it's it's super cool and i love the gray and red color scheme of it that's actually really, really cool. Um, so I actually um, priced that up a little bit uh, because I couldn't find anything exactly the same. So um, I thought that 21 for that pullover, uh, especially since it was also missing the hood string, which is not a real big deal most of the time. But um, like I said, we've got two more sales 
that I wanted to go over here in a minute, but my uh, my friend watches all of my videos. He uh, he's always the first to watch them, first to like them, and we've known each other for 27 years um, since high school, and we've always just been very close. We we talk almost every day, even uh, because he lives almost 30 minutes from me, and so we we chat, text, call. Sometimes we're on the phone for two hours talking about nothing. Um, my my family think it's thinks it's hilarious, but uh, we just like I said, super close. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. I'll teach him everything that I know. My buddy and me like to climb up. And it's funny lately, we'll be talking about things, and he is always so enthusiastic and supportive of what we're doing now that it it's just mind-blowing how awesome of a friend he is he uh, he always lifts me up he's like you know you'll get more subscribers you'll get more sales don't worry about it and actually like I said lately it's the weirdest thing is we'll be on the phone and we'll be talking about slow sales or whatever and uh, he Inevitably, I will make one or two sales while I'm on the phone with him, and it's been pretty crazy. So he's my good luck charm, and uh, I just really wanted to shout out how how much of a, a friend and how inspiring he is. He's actually trying to get me to uh, invest in the storage lockers and try and do that, so that he wants to go in halves and and clean it out with me. So. Uh, we're gonna see where that goes. We may record that. Um, I'll probably have to cut him out because he doesn't want to be seen. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you're watching, I was just joking. Um, and most likely, you know, we're gonna do that. I actually, uh, I really want to do a, a whole storage locker uh, at some point on the channel so that we can see how it goes. Uh, I'm just looking for the right one. I've actually got the uh, the site that I'm gonna get one from. It's just getting one that's close. I do have a small vehicle, uh, so I may end up having to rent a vehicle uh, from like U-Haul, like one of their trucks, or a U-Haul itself. I'm trying to find one that doesn't have any furniture in it. Um, but the ones that I found here, um, this one place, has four of them going right now, but they want a $200 deposit, cleaning deposit, and everywhere else um, in the area is only $100. And I'm not quite sure why they think it's okay to, to charge a, a $200 cleaning deposit, but it's pretty astronomical and I'm not gonna pay a cleaning deposit of $200, not on a five by 10 storage locker. It's just, it's not gonna happen. So I have to find the right storage place and uh, locker for me to buy one, but at some point soon, we will do that. Um, and so again, I wanna say thank you to my friend. Uh, we got off the phone earlier today and immediately I sold this next item and then within about an hour, I sold the next item, which is an even bigger sale. Um, and so I'm super happy about that. So this one here is uh, one of the other Cabela's. Uh, this is the jacket that we sold. Long sleeve, uh, size large, uh, in like immaculate condition these were pretty much brand new i got this from that estate sale that i went to um where i basically cleaned out the closet of clothes because they were all a dollar a piece uh, and this jacket just sold for fifty dollars plus uh looked like sixteen dollars shipping uh, i don't know that it will cost quite that much shipping we will see um, it is kind of a heavy jacket, so we'll see what happens with that one. But 
we got a $50 sale within a minute of me getting off the phone with him. So uh, thank you again. That's a really good sale. And actually, I think that pays for plus some of all, everything I got at that estate sale. Actually, I think I only spent $120, $140 total over that whole day of yard sales and the estate sale. So this pays for almost half of it. And we sold another one, another long sleeve shirt uh, not too long ago for, I believe, $19, something like that. Um, maybe I'll pop that one up on the screen. And so, I mean, we've sold, actually we sold the uh, Pearl Jam Music for Rhinos uh, shirt from that day. Uh, the t-shirt and that sold for a hundred and forty dollars um, just that shirt so I'm super pleased with that one I'll, I'll pop that one up here too and uh, so the last sale I, I think I actually I don't want to lift it so I'm gonna bring you with me here and I'm gonna turn you around and show it to you so it is this Pioneer uh, Elite. This is the VSX 92THX model. Uh, it is a little beat up. It's got some dents in the top. It does work. Um, it is tested and working all of the um, channels for speakers work fine. The Bluetooth works fine. I think that one has Bluetooth. I don't remember. This one might not be one with Bluetooth. No, it does. It has Bluetooth because it has Sirius radio as well. Um, so that one we sold on Facebook Marketplace, but shipping somewhere else. Um, I had it listed for 200 I took an offer of 175 plus... $30 shipping wherever it's going. It must be going uh, farther than Washington State because it was only 21 to ship the exact same one to uh, my sister and her husband and my brother-in-law because they saw my uh, post of what I got on Facebook and they got first pick of the uh, devices that I bought from that auction. So they bought one just like this and apparently have have loved it so so that was actually it for the sales like we have only had two sales today but fifty dollar and hundred and seventy five dollar sale that's uh, two hundred and twenty five dollars after fees I'm gonna say we made about a hundred and ninety dollars uh, and that receiver has is all profit now uh, we've sold four of them I believe now out of that lot that I bought ten um, and the first two paid for the entire auction everything that I bought off of it plus I had tons of cameras and little blink cameras a ring two ring cameras uh, we've just sold a ton of stuff off of that auction um, I am trying to to move away a little bit from the larger electronics um, because I've had a couple of issues with them. Uh, Got a package, people! We're getting a lot better and packaging even crazier to try and make sure because UPS, the first one we shipped out on Facebook, UPS actually broke the screwed on feet off of the bottom and the unit didn't work anymore. I had to fight with Facebook about that one and finally got my money back and the insurance paid the the buyer um, for the shipping but because it was not my fault that the carrier actually completely broke the unit um, and which is terrible they need to start taking it out of these carriers' paychecks. Each time they break something, they need to know who took what where 
and they deduct it from their paychecks every time they break something and then it'll stop happening. I'm gonna pretty much guarantee that um, once the people are actually held accountable for their actions. Uh, I've seen numerous times on my ring doorbell or actually just sitting there at my desk which is right with a plane shot through the window at our front door I've seen them toss the packages onto the front step um, which is not okay but anyway this is a a good video and I wanted to also say one more thing at the end here is that basically any new reseller that may be watching this or existing one if you're having any issues it'll pass um, if I can do this so can you because uh, I'm not always the most motivated person um, I do keep myself going and just grinding and just keep doing it but if you make an effort to get things done you'll do it you can do it um, don't think for one second that you can't do it uh, it's not that hard hit me up on YouTube if you ever need any information that I might have if I don't have it I'll point you to another youtuber like Rachel Strickland or Harry Tornado that may have the answer for you um, because it so far from what I've found or I've only been doing this for six months now and I've found that how helpful all of this reseller community can be there and how inspirational and awesome they can be it, it's just a great community and just a great group of people um, and I watch n religiously almost um, I watch these resellers on YouTube to try and get good insights and just motivation in general. Um, everybody is just so helpful and awesome and I just also wanted to make a shout out to just the reseller community on YouTube and in general uh, how awesome you guys are and how thankful I am to be a part of it. So. Um, Again, don't ever think that you can't do this. Um, if my 17-year-old can get his first commission with, with Photoshop and become basically an independent contractor doing what he likes to do to make money, um, then if you enjoy thrifting and trying to sell things online, go for it you can do it so and that's the way I feel as well I know that I can do this and I know daily I'm getting better at it so um, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and Smitty out